if you want to reach to multi million dollar business it is beyond your personal skill and your abilities and your knowledge people should see it and recognize that hey this i know it's this person's business or this is this business moment they see your colors fonts logos that aesthetics it should sink in if you look at the business there are multiple elements which goes into growing the business scaling the business especially if you want to reach to multi million dollar business it is beyond your personal skill and your abilities and your knowledge it has to be combined with the right business strategies and one of the most important business strategies that you guys know is branding and branding has two elements yesterday we learned about personal branding personal style today we're going to talk about business branding so how do you take that personal brand business brand how do you combine that force so it gives you maximum growth now if you see we had a huge jump if you see over a period of time we had a huge growth and um, we got here in in just 5 years right in 6 years we're going to be in 80 to 100 crores kaise hua is a the huge credit goes to the tag line jo dikhta hai wo bikta hai meaning whatever is visible that only will go to the next level now i have seen people good in personal branding meaning personal styling right they know what to wear how to wear but they don't understand the business branding and on the other side also on the other high side of spectrum a lot of people have decent business branding decent but they don't have personality reflecting into brand they become like soulless companies faceless companies so they do certain things they make you know few crores but they get stuck nobody knows you know who is the ceo who is the face of it what is the they don't have any congruency as well for passion winners they combine both so if you look at this this is nothing but the reflection of my personal brand as well as the company brand personal brand goes it's in my hand what what you did yesterday right your shopping and you know your style you know brands everything but today is not just about you business branding is a team effort you have to have different elements working together right so how do we build a business branding what according to you include is included in business branding anybody what is part of business branding logos colors message tagline fonts these are part of the business branding aesthetics look and feel right so how do you know there are multiple things right where would you use the business branding what are the elements what places do you think that you will have to have check all these things and make sure that your branding is there what are the places anybody social media, social media ads workshop visiting cards websites exhibitions talks letter heads collateral ppts workshop collaterals workshops flyers. flyers what about the office interiors everything has to be in synchronized manner in other words congruent right your letter head cannot look something and your ppt cannot look something it has to have the same element right you know is your your ppt cannot be something whereas your office structure and shape and colors and look it's completely different you cannot do that right people should see it and recognize that hey this i know it's this person's business or this is this business moment they see your colors fonts logos that aesthetics it should sink in they should not have to put an effort to it like what is this right so i see a lot of people making big mistake they don't understand the business branding part most of you are good at what you do in your skills in your product in your service that is one thing but how do you package that product how do you display that product in the market 
how do you create that positioning in people's mind that is business branding that is business branding right example you can go to the vegetable markets and you can buy cucumber how much would it cost in kilo cucumber in india kilo would be ha 30 40 50 100 <laughs> 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 which market do you go to cucumber <laughs> 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 100 kilo <laughs> maximum maximum ha ah, so even if yeah so 40 50 100 right but what if you you drink that in a juice shop of that whatever quantity packaging. the packaging because they give you in juice format whatever you could have got 10 times or 100 times not 100 times but 10 or 20 times for the same price you get only this much juice shot what is that It's packaging but if you so that is retail packaging and if you take that and convert that into a tetra packs or brand now whether whatever juice is okay it could be apple juice or whatever it is if you create a brand you can sell even higher than what you're going to a local juice shops yes or no yes because it's not just the packaging now it is also branding understanding and assurance of quality assurance of quality but it, it, there is something in there because of that brand Yes, Sir Anju was sharing right about the belief system she had about the bags. Yeah. That the same leather bag grows from here, Bangladesh or wherever it is. They go, they just put the logo okay, and give it. Bag to hoye. Production investment is the same. It's just because of the branding, it changes everything. So now you think about this. How does that connect with you and your business? how does that connect with you and your business what is your business branding like if you're not able to charge more is not because your services are bad or products are bad you're still providing the a1 quality of cucumber juice but nobody's going to pay you a lot of money for cucumber juice they're going to pay you or apple or cucumber whatever it is they will pay you because for the brand positioning that you have built to create that brand positioning there are various factors right letter heads and so many things as i said five steps business branding checklist okay kya check karoge any guesses what could be the five things that five things or elements that you should check in any business branding that you do logo logo, logo. logo. Colors. colors what else tagline tagline font fonts i think you're almost almost there I call this LFTPC. So next time, कभी भी branding का आता है ना, and that you and your team should know. Okay, have we done LFTPC? Have we done this? Right? What does the L stand for? Logo. Yes. What does the F stand for? Forms. For tagline, absolutely. Patterns and colors. These are the five things. Easy? Yes. इसके अलावा, you don't have to worry about anything else.